how are you uh, i am doing great i am fine and thanks for asking and what about you i am doing well thank you ma'am okay <laughs> so uh, as we are talking i think for the uh, second time first we talked on audio first we talked <laughs> on audio so audio. i think uh, uh, this time we are meeting for the first time like was this so i think we should introduce each other so sure. uh, shall i start of course please go ahead uh, thank you uh, my name is nutan i am from mathura i am a homemaker and i run a youtube channel as well and if i tell you about my qualification then i am graduate from commerce and i am blessed with two kids thank you that's great nice to hear from your side yeah if i want to tell about myself my name is aarti chobe and i'm connecting you from a very beautiful place that is called mini kashmir of malwa and this is in narsinghar uh, which falls in rajgarh district and if i talk mm-hmm. about my kids i am blessed with three kids my two daughters and my son and uh, if i talk about my profession i am a government teacher i teach to upper primary students and my subjects are mathematics and english and i am a very passionate learner a very enthusiastic learner of this language you can say uh, but unfortunately i don't get time i don't get uh, anyone to talk with so okay. yeah i sometimes i think that i'm lagging behind so i keep on practicing and if i talk about my qualification i am graduate in mathematics and i am a masters in english literature Nice. I am. <laughs> if I talk about my professional qualification, I am masters in education as well as I also fulfill the responsibility of training primary teachers in my block okay. level as well as district level, and I am a trained and certified uh, trainer of British Council. But the uh, but the problem is that always I have to deliver the training in Hindi. Okay. I can't use this uh, English every English. time because. yeah because the teachers they are not that much uh, they don't understand this language there is okay. a problem and uh, you can say that yeah i teach english in hindi <laughs> okay nice nice the problem with me uh, so yeah this Good is all about that. yeah it was amazing yeah yeah and i want to ask you what you what techniques are you following uh, for this language for learning this language Uh, i can say i talk a lot <laughs> all the time i'm just talking and talking okay and earlier this was not the case earlier i can say i used to yearn i used to yearn for you know uh, i used to uh, think that i wish i could have somebody so that i can talk with them so i didn't have any partner speaking partner earlier yeah and since when i got connected with this skype group i think it's been two months and a few days and since then i have been talking with people on every single day and i started talking with ladies initially like mm-hmm. i was kind of very uh, fearful person and i can say very shy kind of inhibition i had to you know deal with male so i started talking with ladies earlier and after 15 mm-hmm. 16 days later i i thought okay i can i can deal with male as well then i started talking with male and now i can say that uh, i can deal with anyone yeah in english yeah so i feel like the, you know by talking with people on every single day i have magnified my confidence earlier this was not the uh, case why because uh, i used to feel very hesitant you know a mm-hmm. uh, uh, single sentence i used to say in english i would not uh, you know deny that but yeah i didn't have this much confidence to deal with people earlier yeah so by talking mm-hmm. with people on every single day i can say at least 6 to 7 8 to 9 people oh and one person God. one person time spending is 22 to 30 minutes audio video both that's so great that, that's uh, so that is how i am uh, you know doing my practicing and all so practice is very much necessary because you know nowadays english is no more a foreign language it has yeah. just like a native language it has become because everywhere you go you find people speaking english whether you are uh, go any in a restaurant or uh, when you are traveling outside so uh, i find people they are much uh, confident and they are much uh, they feel easy with this language i think yeah absolutely. and our political leaders also whenever i heard some news uh, i always find th- those leaders they are talking in uh, english only so uh, yeah uh, we we should not consider but as far as uh, we are you know uh, it, we have a great influence of our mother tongue on our speeches when we talk yeah uh just to uh, just to overcome those shackles you can say we are in the shackles of the mother tongue 
Yeah. So when we are talking regularly, then uh, we can be get rid of these shackles and then we can really yeah. uh, communicate uh, our thoughts, our ideas with others. And uh, if we want to make it more impressive, once I, I, I heard one person saying that uh, we can make this uh, language very impressive. So I was very shocked that how can we make the English impressive? A personality yeah. is impressive, a people, a person is impressive, but how can, yeah. how can the language is impressive? And then when I listen him further, he said that by using idioms and by using yeah. making of phrases, because yeah. uh, very long talk, you can just sum up in few lines, few words. So whenever you are making use of these idioms and phrases, then you, then you can make your language more compact. Type. And, and no one is having that much time, you know, to just listen to your rubbish. So just yeah, we must cut that. to the case. We must <laughs> cut to the case uh, yeah. so that uh, we should not beat about the bushes. We should come to the point and just finish it within minutes. Yeah. So uh, today I think we should talk about some idioms and phrases. So that uh, uh, our learners, they will also get some idea of uh, using these things. Absolutely. So uh, let's start. Uh, just now I read one uh, idiom that is uh, chasing rainbows. And I find it very useful, you can say, chasing rainbows. And this uh, is used to achieve something which is uh, not in your, what you can say, it's not your cup of tea, but still you are making hard to achieve that thing. For example, uh, uh, Rosie is very foodie and she has just gained the weight, but now being foodie, she wants her uh, body in shape, but she can't, everyone knows. And yeah. her friend says that she is chasing rainbows because now she yeah. can't get in shape as, as his habit of uh, eating every time the junk foods and uh, because she is very foody. So how can she thinks of getting the body in the shape? So uh, their friend says that she is chasing the rainbows. I can so also I use one example on this. Yes, yes, please go ahead. Yeah, earlier, as I told you earlier, earlier, this was not the case. I had, I can say the inhibition to talk in English with people. Mm -hmm. So earlier when I used to speak in English, there are many people, they used to mock at me, you know, try to humiliate me, okay. So maybe they were thinking, maybe, they would have been thinking that moment uh, that uh, Nutan, what are you doing and you want to chase the rainbow. And now uh -huh. I can say that I have changed, uh, chased the rainbow. You have, uh, you have, uh, you can say you can, you can reach to a rainbow. Yeah. Uh, so nowadays you're talking very good, very fluent. Yeah. So yeah. now you have reached the rainbow. Yeah. Not only yeah. you think you have reached the rainbow. Yeah. 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 Right. Absolutely. So. so. Any other yeah. uh, uh, idiom if I would like to take? Uh, yeah, so. Definitely. Um, the another video is to uh, through thick and thin. Through thick and thin means? In uh, every like uh, good and bad days. Yes. So uh, our relatives, our friends, because it is also said that friend in need is a friend indeed. Uh, in the similar way, this idiom also reflects the thing that uh, whenever you, you are in difficult situation, whenever you are in adverse situation and and the person who is with you at that time is the is the best person uh, of your, whether it is a relative or it is a, he is a friend. Like my brother and my elder brother, he is always stands with me, whether I'm passing through thick or thin. So yeah. you can also make use one sentence. Yeah, I can say there are some people I can say they are. Yeah, they are my relatives very close. Uh, uh, we are very close like uh, my sister and my, uh, my brother in law. So day one when I started, you know, making my videos and all since day one, they have been, you know, supporting me. And uh, there was some time when I was not doing good. I was not getting the result, even if they were, you know, uh, supporting me. Okay, Nutan, you are doing good. You, you have this kind of uh, uh, potential and you can, you are utilizing that. So you are doing good. You know, when I'm getting the result, when I'm not getting the result, they were with me. They were supporting me and they have been supporting me. So I can say uh, that they have supported me through thick and thin. Very good. Well done. So it was good <laughs> use of this idiom. And uh, yeah, today itself in my class, I used one idiom, cut to chase. 
I was talking earlier also. Cut to chase means don't talk rubbish. Just cut to chase. Come to means, the point. Come to the point. Come don't the beat point. about the bushes. Yeah. And a similar one is this one. The don't beat about the bushes. Just come to the point. And cut to chase means uh, when he, um, political leaders, whenever they are giving speech, you know, they, they were talking uh, about this and that and here and there. They are not coming to the point. They are just making fake promises with the people. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but our Modi, this is not the case with our Prime Minister. He yeah. always cut to chase. He never talks. And if you want to become popular uh, in our circle, in our friend circle, or in our kitty parties, so we must not talk rubbish. We must cut to the chase so that people will not get bored of us. Otherwise, you know, uh, there are people, those, those, those who don't talk very uh, meaningful things. They just yeah. keep on talking useless things and meaning meaningless talking things. Talking rubbish sometimes. Yeah. And you know, I don't like such type of person. I I, I want to hear uh, very meaningful to the point things. Yeah, and to the point things. Yeah. Yes. So I, I can use on this uh, idiom, uh, cut to the chase. Like um, I was in a rush. Uh, I actually I had to go somewhere. Okay, and I I I completed all my household chores, and my husband came to me asking something, and I was in in a hurry. So I was like, okay, just just tell me what is the thing. What is the matter? Okay, just cut to the chase. Okay, because uh, I I need to I'm go. Here. Yeah, <laughs> I need to leave. So please cut to the chase and come to the point. <laughs> because I was getting late. <laughs> Don't talk here and there. Okay, come to the point. Yeah. 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 And the other one is uh, during COVID time. This idiom I come across this idiom that many countries they are sitting on the fence and just they are not uh, uh, they are not they are in a confusion actually. You can say that. Uh, whether to open the uh, companies or schools or public places. Uh, so they were sitting on the fence. So sitting on the fence means uh, unable to decide or taking uh, or becoming delay in taking decisions. The company, uh, so the con many countries during COVID times, they are, they are sitting on the fence, whether to open the schools or whether to open the companies so that the if the people come around and there will be a rush and crowd then again this disease may fa may uh, spread widely so they were sitting on the fence so sitting on the fence means delay in taking the decision switching on the fence right switching on the fence yeah switching on the fence so i can use one idiom uh, one sentence on uh, this idiom switching on the fence like uh, yeah i will also take the example of covid uh, mm -hmm. when covid uh, uh, unleashed when covid uh, released and you know basically the lockdown released mm -hmm. and then uh, there was some time when i used to go to the market to you know to fetch some things like uh, some uh, i can say grocery items right mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. moment uh, sometimes i used to in fear that uh, whether i should go or not oh. yeah because it was quite you can say fearful moment and we were totally, it was, it was an outbreak for us. So we were totally in confusion. Many times we were in a fix. So I can say there, I, I used to feel like switching on the fan, like whether I should go to the market or not. Yeah, yeah so you are, uh, you are becoming delay in taking decisions. Yeah, decision, yeah. Sometimes and I used experience? to be very in a fix. Yes. I used to be in a fix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whether to do or not to do. Because yeah, yeah. in one of the tragedy of Shakespeare, uh, but that's one. There was one character, and he always used to say, "What to do and what not to do." <laughs> and yeah. this was my tagline when I was what doing do my research. And what not to do? <laughs> what to do and what not to do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and one yeah. more uh, word which I like very much is uh, dilemma. Have you heard? Yeah. Dilemma? dilemma. Yeah, you can say like. It's um, also similar, it, like. Uh, yeah, a shock. Uh, no, uh, not really. uh, I, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfection. Yeah, yeah. Perfection. So uh, I'm in dilemma on whether to attend a party or to attend a meeting. So I was, as you talked about the word fix, so this is also like that. So uh, either fix or in dilemma, they, I think they are the same thing that um, I'm just unable to decide whether to uh, attend a meeting or to attend a marriage party. So. One example I would like to take on this word. Mm -hmm. I needed to go to the market and after that I needed to go to the temple to have a vision of Lord Krishna. 
today mm-hmm. i'm talking about today so i was in a fix i can say i was in a dilemma that what should i wear like a sari or a kurta a sari a kurta and uh, ended up wearing a kurta so yeah this is why that's why i have uh, worn this you know yellow and green because it's quite good when you go to the temple and have a vision yes. of uh, mm-hmm. our lord and our deities so definitely we should wear some you know some kind of colorful dress not black yes. Yeah, never. Blue like this. Yeah. <laughs> these are odd colors. Nice. We are supposed to say like this. Yeah. Uh, these are odd colors. Mm. And you know, uh, one more term is social butterfly. Social butterfly who is a kind of sociable person. Yes, sociable person who is very outward, who is very outspoken, who is very, uh, uh, yeah. Means uh, not introvert. Extrovert. 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 Yeah. Okay. So though she is an extrovert, but uh, she surprised me in the party. She was. Uh, uh, she. Uh, I feel as if she was social butterfly, like a butterfly just moving in the garden here and there, sitting on one flower, then sitting on the other flower. and in that way i saw her in the party that uh, yeah she was quite good and she was a sort of social butterfly at that time uh, though people say that she is an introvert okay i also would like to take for example on this social butterfly and i will also i will be saying about myself my personality whole personality i used to be very suppressed person and very shy and i can say very introvert but i would not say i am this time i have become extrovert but yes i am on, on this path okay so earlier i used to feel shy with you know dealing with people basically mm-hmm. it's not about you know english language uh, you know to tackling the situation sometimes there are some people they were not you know they were totally uh, you know i can say other way around in the behavior mm-hmm. basically the behavior some kind of conflicts were going on all <laughs> this and that okay so i was like very suppressed person earlier so now i can say by talking with people and uh, basically this english language because of this english language and i have been talking with people on every single day so and you know new new people on every single day i'm talking so i can say now i have become a social butterfly very good very good very well used you have used this uh, idiom or you can say it is a phrase uh, social butterfly and uh, perfectionist she is very perfectionist means she wants everything each and everything in order and in a very perfect way yeah uh, then one more idiom we were discussing every black cloud has a silver lining uh, every uh, we can also say every cloud has yeah every cloud every black cloud has a silver ah, lining ev- sometimes the cloud are very white so we can't see the silver lining in those white clouds yeah but definitely when the clouds are black so at that time we the uh, silver lining is very much visible to us yeah yeah so that's why i think this word black is added to that and there were many more uh, do you know about tongue twisters yeah but i i, I never ever have tried <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh, today my student they were asking that ma'am uh, how to get the pronunciation better so okay. i told them some tongue twister that uh, by by using these tongue twisters again and again you can just because you know our speech organs they are on the influence of our mother tongue so uh, right. while uh, the, the the pronunciation in english they are uh, some some different from our mother tongue so uh, i said i just advise them to use some tongue twisters just repeat them every day so yeah. that you can uh, you can very easily make the difference of sh and s right uh, like one of the tongue twisters she sells seashells on the seashore here again and again we are making a difference between c and sh yeah like susi is sitting on the shoe shine shop susi is sitting on the okay. shoe shine shop so again sh and s yeah yeah and yeah red leather yellow leather red leather yellow leather red leather yellow leather so sometimes our tongue it it it, yeah. it, it not it doesn't fold very quickly Uh, like kacha papad pakka papad in hindi yeah in hindi <laughs> absolutely but definitely <laughs> we ended up making mistakes yeah because, of course yeah. in hindi also when we say it very quickly then yeah. we make then upper roller lower roller upper roller lower roller upper ro- yes. and then again our tongue it, it doesn't turn very quick so and then i think it's already 20 minutes and uh, 
<laughs> nice talking to you so and... yeah ma'am <laughs> so yes you can wind up the session it, it was very nice talking with you so amazing i felt like same here same here so you are very connect. enthusiastic person <laughs> <I'm at it. laughs> okay okay thank you very much and take very good care of yourself okay bye thank good you. night okay. good night take care bye bye